Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to massively increase Google Maps rankings by writing GMB posts. Easy tutorial, lots of fun. Watch this. All right, guys. So this is the goal for Google posts is to monopolize the images area in Google. Our client, Forster Electric. You could type in Knoxville Electrician, then click Images, and you'll notice almost every image is my client. See that? And I'm going to show you how to do it, how to do it yourself. This one's ours. That's not. That's ours. That's ours. Huh. I didn't even go down here. Let's see what else. No, no, wait, no, no, yes, 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 uh, I don't think so, no, yes, all right, so, and I do this with all my clients, I do this with all my clients, so you may say, well, why is that important? Well, it's important because Google does read your images, and people do look for images when they're searching for something, if you monopolize that that's, you know, that's more clicks and it's more calls, right? So it's very important to optimize your images properly and it all starts first with Google Posts. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it so you could do it yourself. All right, guys, so if you type in Foster Electric Knoxville, there are several different uh, Foster Electrics throughout the world. So just put in Knoxville. On the right hand side, if you scroll down, you'll notice the knowledge panel right here on the right. And if you scroll down a little bit more, you will notice his GMB post. So this is one that we did just uh, a few minutes ago. You'll notice that the keyword is on the picture, the logo, and then the nap, the name, address, and phone number. Okay, so what I notice is that on most people that do their GMB posts, they don't include any information. It's real important because like I said prior, is that Google reads your images. So you wanna add your logo, add the keyword that you're trying to rank, and include your name, address, and phone number. All right, guys, so when you create a Google post, you first want to go after a specific keyword. So you have a keyword in mind, or you've done some research, and you have a page built, for example, about electrician, and now you want to boost that page in the three-pack ranking. So you're going to create a Google post about that keyword. Very simple. The first thing that you want to do is type in the keyword that you're going after in Google and type in and then hit uh, images. You want to see what images are already ranking. So if I was, you know, Bob's electrician in Knoxville, and I was going to create a Google post, the first thing that I would do is type in Electrician Knoxville, click Images, and then I want to see what images are coming up for that keyword. What does Google see as relevant? I don't know what these are called. I think they're called electrical panels, but apparently electrical panels seem relevant. You know, it, it seems funny to say, uh, you know, well, of course, that's what you would do. I can't tell you how many people, like, will put a picture of the ocean or the Statue of Liberty for, uh, you know, electrician. <laughs> you know, it doesn't make any sense. It, the picture has to match the keyword. And the only way to know that is to type the keyword into Google, hit images, and see what does Google see relevant for that keyword already. So at least looks like an electrical panel. It looks like a van, once again, an electrical panel, right? So a lot of electrical panels here. It looks like that 
most here's another thing that you probably didn't even notice it's always one guy right so if you type in electrician knoxville it's not a group of people it, it appears to be one person and most of the time they're wearing a hat a hard hat so okay so i'm trying to rank bob's uh a, a electrician for uh, the keyword electrician knoxville i'm going to find a picture of a person with a hat or a hard hat working on a an, an electrical panel that's what the, that's the picture that seems most prominent right because that's like the reoccurring theme here that's the reoccurring theme here that's what most of the images look like so why would i put a picture of the statue of liberty why would i put a picture of the ocean because i like it or a picture of my children i don't know what people are thinking when they when they create their posts google's giving you a hint you need to know where to look type in the keyword click images and find a similar image all right guys so the next thing you want to do is head over to this web website called Pexels. That's P-E-X-E-L-S dot com. You could use these pictures for commercial use at no charge, right? So I typed in electrician, and here's my first picture. Look, this is a, a, a panel, some type of panel, right? There's my guy with the hard hat, if I want to use him, but right so there are plenty of pictures here we go this would be a perfect picture i would use this fella here with the hard hat he's working on a panel i would put bob's uh i would put across the top of the picture i would put electrician knoxville and then on the right side here i would put the logo and on the left side i would put the name address and phone number and this is the picture that i would use for bob's electrician all right guys so then the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to log into our dashboard on google my business dashboard just go to business.google.com and on the left hand side you'll see posts just click the post and that's where you create your brand new post So once we're logged into the Google My Business dashboard, all you do is just come over here. I like to come over where it says post. And you see this little icon on the right hand side, you just click it. And this is where you're going to create your post. Now, all you need to do is just follow the instructions. It, it, it's not difficult at all. I'd rather spend the time showing you what to put on the post as in regards to how to do it because you just follow the steps and that's how you do it all right so remember if we're trying to rank for residential electrical contractors in chattanooga tennessee we're going to put that keyword into google click images and see what images come up and once again it's somebody with a panel so we add the picture to the post Oh, we had the picture we, we had the keyword to the we had the keyword to the to the top of the picture right we had the keyword to the top of the picture then we add the logo and then on the left side we add the name address and phone number otherwise known as the nap now the first sentence i like to use the keyword that we're trying to rank i probably should have written a little bit more content here. You should probably write anywhere from, it could take up to 1500 words, but I would say anywhere from uh, 300 to 500 words would be sufficient. This is a little light on the content. Then make sure you add your NAP, your NAP, right? Your name, address, and phone number to the post. Then, this is a link this tiny url is a link to uh the website so if you click this it's just going to go right to the website see that okay then there's a link to the facebook page and then there's a link to the place id 
Let me show you what that looks like. It's just as if somebody did a search and right and we we linked right there so that's how you do a post now i want to show you a little trick i want to show you a little trick i'm glad that we have enough time but i want to show you a little trick that we like to do is that once you create the post you want to share the post right so definitely share it on your facebook and twitter and then if you notice is that when, here, let me show you something. Let me show you something. We don't only post on Facebook and, and, uh, and Twitter, but look, here's one on Thumbtack, right? I'm sure Thumbtack is a job hiring site, right? So you want to post on, on Thumbtack. Well, so it's not only job hiring. It's also, you know, you could solicit jobs by, you know, bidding on contracts there also. I haven't been on it in a while. So, uh, yeah. But you could post on Thumbtack. You could post. Get these images and post them throughout the web. Don't just post them on your GMB. Once you post on your GMB, take that image, post on Facebook, post on Twitter, and put it on your Yelp, put it on your Tumblr account, right? If you have a Tumblr account on your Instagram, because Google will pick up different types of uh, sites for that image. Look, we're even on Curly Carolina here, Tumblr, all right? That's a Tumblr site that we have, right? So you here's a Pinterest. So that's what I mean. Like, like don't just take your image uh, don't just take your image and just post it on GMB and you're finished. Once you post on your GMB, then take this, this uh, post and post it on other social sites and Web 2.0 sites, right? Get it circulated there. And if you get it circulated enough and Google sees it as popular, people looking at it, you too will show up in the images and that will also help your three-pack ranking. Now, look, if you have crappy content on your website and you, your site loads, it takes a long time for your website to load, well, uh, a couple of good Google posts aren't going to help it that much. You need to have great content on your website. I gave some, some, um, I gave some uh, videos on how to create content for your website already. Uh, but I'm assuming at this point you have great content and you're somewhere around eighth or ninth place and you want to try to make it closer to the Google three pack is keep hammering that keyword. How many posts should you do, right? That's the next question. How many posts should I do? Well, I interviewed, uh, my buddy from, um, from a GMB crush, Matt Barletta. And he's created a Chrome extension called GMB Crush. And if you just go to GMB Crush, I suggest you download it. All right. Just go right over here and get the free Chrome extension. Because when you do a search, for example, a lot electrician in Knoxville, when you do a search, electrician in Knoxville, Tennessee, and you click view all, right? It will tell you how many times, it will tell you how many times people are posting, right? And that's what you want to know. So you want to know if you're trying to beat uh, let's say, uh, uh, Mr. Electric of Knoxville, right? You want to know how many times they are posting a week. So the GMB crush will give you the categories that they're trying to rank. And then if you just do this, wait, watch this, just take the name. All right. This was like a little bonus I gave you here. But you want to see what how many times you're you want to see how many times you're 
um, your competitor is posting, right? So he, so just go to maps, right? And just click Mr. Electric. And I think it's search now. So just give it a second. Just click search now. And it will let you know how many times they're posting a, uh, a day and over the past 90 days. So you definitely want to install this uh, GMB extension, uh, this Google extension inside your uh, GMB because it really helps you, lets you know. You know, some, some of your competition may only be posting once a, uh, once a week, right? So you know that you could bring it up, you know, to several times a week. So let's just see it. So you'll see, see these other people that they're posting, right? They're trying to rank for, I don't know what they're trying to rank for. They're not even putting their Mr. Electric of Knoxville. So I don't even know what they're trying to rank for. Don't, don't just, don't post for nothing, right? So in the past 90 days, they haven't posted at all. See, it says PC 90 right here. They haven't posted in 90 days. And they've only posted 30 times. See the 30 right here? So I know that if I want to beat Mr. Electric, I just need to post. You know, I just need to post every day. You want to see what your competition's doing, right? And then this also gives you their their uh, review rating, how many reviews they have, right? It has their description, categories that they use. So it's a great tool. This is, a, this is just a little extra when you're posting. You want to see what your competition, how many times your competition's posting, and do you want to try to beat that, all right? So definitely download GMB Crush, great tool. It's a free Chrome extension. You don't have to do anything once it's installed. Uh, it'll just do its, it'll just do its business. All right. So guys, uh, have a great day. Be good to your family. Make sure you kiss your wife, kiss your kids, clean up around the house. And, uh, we will see you on Friday. All right, guys, have a great day.